who are now going to outer space. Uh, last March, Rosanna, Scott Kelly from New Jersey, NASA astronaut, blasted off with his cosmonaut friend, Mikhail. Destination, the International Space Station. Scott and Mikhail are in that International Space Station for a year. Wow. They're not getting back until uh, early 2016. Isn't that wild? Scott, by the way, again, is from New Jersey, Orange, New Jersey. His twin brother, Mark, is also an astronaut. Uh, but let's go right to the International Space Station right now. Can Scott we tune them in? There they are. Welcome to Good Day New York. Gentlemen, how is it going up there? Oh, it's going great. Welcome aboard the International Space Station. Ooh. Fantastic. What are you guys doing today? What's on the agenda? Just so you know, there is a little delay. Of course there's a little delay talking to you because you're in outer space and we're down here. Yeah, there's always a little bit of a calm delay. This uh, signal has to bounce off a bunch of different satellites. But uh, we have nine crew members on board right now, uh, which is a lot for the space station. And uh, from five different countries, and we're doing all different kinds of uh, scientific research. I'm doing... Uh, getting a uh, Japanese uh, airlock ready to deploy some uh, small satellites here in the next uh, week or so. How about this? Can I ask you another question? Why a year? That's a very long time. You've been up there about five months so far. Why a year? And while you're answering, would you mind maybe giving us a demonstration of weightlessness in the International Space Station, maybe floating around and uh, watching you? It would be uh, really cool. So the reason we're going to do this, uh, <laughs> hey, so the reason we're going to do this for a whole year is that, um, is that this space station has some incredible scientific uh, <laughs> capability. And even though we've flown people in space for a year before, um, and that was, you know, a long time ago on the Mir space station, uh, the technology has just improved so much with imaging capability and, uh, you know, DNA, that whole discipline didn't even exist that there are things we can learn here that will help us uh, travel further and further away from space to go to Mars someday. So, you know, our previous experience uh, on this space station has been six months, and eventually when we go to Mars, it's going to take much, more, more, much longer than a year. So having this space station with the type of capability on it really helps pave our way to, uh, for our journey to Mars someday. Hey, Scott. Do you ever get nauseous in outer space? I mean, not having gravity, moving around, turning upside down all the time, How do you, and being in small quarter, quarters, what's it, what's it feel like? You know, it's, uh, it's surprising what you can get used to. You know, we're falling around the Earth. We're in free fall, so it's kind of like when you're on the top of a roller coaster and you feel everything in your stomach kind of go up a little bit and you float out of your seat. And that's what we're doing all the time. But, uh, you know, you just get used to it. Um, I don't feel nauseous now. Some people feel sick in the beginning. Um, but, uh, you know, they eventually adapt, even if they're, uh, you know, some, we, we have people throwing up here, up here sometimes when they first get up here. But they get used to it uh, eventually. And uh, as far as the closed quarters, you know, the, the space station's pretty big. Um, so uh, although I never feel like... Uh, I'm kind of um, would like more room. Uh, it is still very clear that you, you didn't never get to leave. You can't go outside. So that's something that's uh, very, very obvious to us. Well, listen, we wish you a very safe journey up. How fast are you going right now, and what are you over? And if Misha can do a, another somersault, that would be really cool. Um, Scott, if you could answer that question, we'd love to see Misha float around one more time. Yeah, we're going uh, 17,500 miles an hour, and I have no idea what part of the Earth we're over. Gotcha. <laughs> hey, and when do you wear the space suits, by the way? I see them right in front of you. Yeah, one of my colleagues and I, uh, Chell Lindgren, uh, we're going to do a spacewalk. Actually, we're going to do two. Um, at the end of uh, October and then in the beginning of uh, November, sp spread out by a little, a little bit over a week. And uh, those are the first two we have planned right now. Looks like you're 
over Africa at this point, Scott. And by the way, we love the – boy, it's, um, it's casual up there. You guys are wearing polo shirts and khakis, it looks like. Uh, you don't have to wear the big space suits every day, and you don't have the, uh, the flight suits either. You can kind of just uh, chill up there. The, the mission is comfort at times, right? Yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's a pretty comfortable uh, environment we have up here, although it's, uh, you know, it's uh, pretty rustic living with regards to having the ability to take a shower and things like that. So uh, it's, uh, it's sort of a little bit like camping. Um, also, we, we wanted to kind of be in sync with you today, so we got some ice cream from the Intrepid, right? It's astronaut ice cream? They call it astronaut ice cream, and as we look at this, Scott, I'd, like to, I'd love to know from you too, Mikhail, how's the food up there? You know, the food's pretty good. I was listening to your show about the uh, sodium uh, reductions that you're talking about in New York City in the diet, and we... We actually went through that where we kind of scrubbed our whole menu because there was a lot of sodium on board. Um, so we, we had a, a big reduction in the, the amount of salt content. You know, it's uh, obviously, you know, salt affects the taste, and uh, but it's surprising what you get used to. So initially, with the less salt, uh, you don't really like it, but you actually, after a while, you kind of get used to it. And I hope people, uh, you know, that are looking at adjusting the salt intake there um, have the same experience. Scott Kelly, a hero. Mikhail, a hero. Thank you both for being with us. Sorry about the delay there, but you are in outer space. It makes sense. Safe travels, and we'll see you next year. Take care. Thank you. And they were listening to us in outer space. Thank you very much.